Welcome to CG Chameleon. Hello and welcome to CG Chameleon. In this quick tutorial, I want to show to share with you how how can we rig this plane so we can simulate or emulate that the ball it is passing under it. It's like cartoony one. I have this quick animation. It's dirty animation, but uh, the the main purpose of this tutorial is to show you how you can rig this one so. It can be like this ball is passing underneath this plane like you see with Tom and Jerry and so the cartoony stuff okay so let's rig this one we be, we'll be using the soft modification tool if you don't know if you know what it is how how to use it, you can skip this tutorial if you don't know just stick around I will be sharing my techniques with you okay so first Let's create a controller. So controller that when we move, uh, the plane is bulging up or down depending on the controller. So you can create any controller. You can create knob and you can create a circle. Anything here. I have them here in my script. So I will be creating a circle. I'll be creating uh, this one. Okay, just two controllers. Or oh, let's be creating this. It doesn't matter the shape. You have just to select two shapes okay so let's zoom this the animation is this way so I would love my controller to be rotated this way so let's make them 90 this one made them 90 air same thing make it small here I guess that would do so clear history you can go to clear the history or the alt press alt shift and D to clear the history or edit delete by type history okay now I need to freeze the transformation modify freeze transformation here so we're getting zero 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 but I would love this one to start from here okay we can do it to start in the middle let's keep it in the middle then we move it okay so everything is zero out we want this controller let's call it uh, uh, mid mid controller let's call it and this one is the main controller let's anything okay that's it we want this controller to follow this one so we parent just click this one and parent it press B so this one is following okay so now select this go to the form and open everything is by default and go apply okay now a node is created so this is the influence that will be controlling to simulate this type of effect here so here this is the form Love. Uh, now if you go to the, the format safe, we can see a couple of options that we can use. Uh, in order to create a bulging, we need to move the, the modifier itself, you move it up, so you can have this bulging effect. So we go now to here and you can see this is the radius, you can reduce it, you can increase it depending on the situation. But the trick here, we want to connect this one, when it moves, uh, left and right this bulging should follow how we do it so we have here the follow here so the follow -off, the follow -off, you can see gives you what you want so if you want to get this type of effect you can connect this one with this one so we go to node editor so we clear it so get me uh, this one I need the first I need the control I need this so we go this one go here and uh, select by name and select press enter so you can have it here and then you bring it okay or you can search for it here so that's the fastest way press 3 so we want to connect the position with the position so position we want X to control X 
this one to control Z. So now, if we move, you can see we are getting this type of effect that we want here. Okay? It's easy. Now we want to control the bulging. So the bulge, if we want, like the bulging, to rise up and down depending on this. So we can use this controller to control the bulging. So we can do it this way. So the same thing. So this is the rotation that is controlling. So we make it zero. We go to bring this one and bring bring this. Let's bring them. Let's clear. Let's get these two. So this one. Let's uh, get. Okay. So the mid controller and we rotate like translation with translation, rotation with rotation. Okay. So now if you move this up it's going to move. If we rotate, you can see we can get even a rotation, okay? We can add uh, like uh, influence if we move this up. If we move this up, we want to add an attribute that controls the influence without getting here. So let's go here. Let's create the attribute here. So add attribute. Let's uh, call it uh, radius, anything, float, doesn't matter, let's go OK. So getting float on this type, so let's clear, get this one. So I'm getting the radius here, and we want to control it with this one here, so select by name again, and get this controller, press 3, and we want to put this in the, uh, which one, the file of radius file of radius this one so the radius is going to control the file of radius but let's first put it to zero let's reset everything so get this put it yeah i need this put it to zero now radius with radius okay so now if you move this up okay we're getting a problem because this is Let's put this one to five. You can see now you can play. Of course, you can put this two and so on. So you can get this type of effect I want. Okay. So we had to. You have now two controllers. So now we can hide this one. And you have these two controllers here. So you can make it this zero. So we are getting this type of effect here. So okay. Okay, now we can try to do the animation. For example, let's go here. Let's go somewhere around the thing that's uh, really, you can change the color, it looks ugly, at least for me. Okay. So you can see, we go here. For example, something else you can do now, like you go S. Let's uh, do a key, a key here, now. You can, uh, so like this, you can move this up, around there, so, so here, get a key, here make it zero, here. so now, of course you can now go to here, around here, and you can just move this one like, like this, or you can be tracking it. Of course, you can do whatever you want. As not tutorial in, and you can just drag it out. So now, let's check the animation. Let's press Alt One so we can see the animation. <laughs> I hope you like in this tutorial. I know it's uh, it's an easy one, but uh, I wanted to share this with you. Okay, wish you the best of luck, good luck.